Hey guys, good morning. It's just after 9 a.m. Everybody is at school. I have zero to do today, which is awesome. So I'm gonna hang out with Pia. And originally we weren't going to get to hang out together because I was scheduled to work today, but I switched with a girl. She's working my shift today. She needed to switch for childcare. So I was like, okay, I totally understand that. So um, I switched her and she's working my shift today and I'm working her shift tomorrow. So my work week is just kind of squished together because I work tomorrow 12 hours Thursday I have a work meeting that's mandatory and that's four hours and then Friday I work another 12 so um, that's the only thing is like my my week just kind of gets squished together but that's okay because I think I have three four days three or four days off after Friday so I would rather have it kind of squished it makes a little bit more sense so yeah, I'm hanging out with Bia today. I'm pretty much just gonna tag along and run her errands and then um, if we have time or like wherever we are, we can run whatever errands I have to run. I don't really have a whole lot, but I've been thinking about doing a color street and you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And because I'm a few days behind on vlogs, I don't know how it'll work going up, but um, I've been thinking about doing a Color Street Live and selling the strips that I have. I'm getting a whole bunch of holiday strips and then that way instead of waiting for your shipment from Color Street, if I have it in stock, I can sell it to you and then turn around and mail it out myself. But I've seen so many other stylists do it and they offer like little giveaways and little like incentives to buy strips and stuff. So I want to go find some stuff for you guys, but I don't know that I'll do it today because I probably won't go live until at least the weekend, if not like early next week. So we'll kind of play it by ear, but yeah, that's what's on my agenda today. I don't need to do, I don't think anything else which is nice. I may look for some sale meat because I have lots of fruits and vegetables and we have a lot of meat, but I like to, if I find sale meat, pick it up while I can type thing. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. Let me just make sure. Oh, and most importantly, we have to go vote. So I, Bia doesn't know it yet, but we're gonna go vote. <laughs> Andres, I gave him his voter registration card. He was like, I guess I'll just go vote by myself. And I was like, we'll just go in before work really quick. And so that's what he's doing. He's gonna go in before work and I will convince Bia to go at some point today. <laughs> or breakfast blend, maybe breakfast blend. Yes, um, coffee. Really that's good? I don't know, it's probably sweet. I probably shouldn't get that with uh, um, coffee. Did you put hazelnut? I put hazelnut and French vanilla and regular. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. I don't know if I want regular creamer or French vanilla. Okay, but I got our oil change. <laughs> we came to have, well, we really wanted chips and salsa, so I got the chicken fajita plate and some water. And then I don't know what we're doing from here. Thank you. Thank you. But this looks delicious. Well, I gotta look at the dollar spot first. <laughs> we're at Target. We're looking through some of the stuff that they have. Ooh, what's that? They're just starting to put out all the Christmas stuff at this Target. Oh, on the show. But they have some super cute stuff and they have their Halloween stuff 90% off. So those are 30 cents each. And then I found a couple of Christmas signs, even though we're nowhere near decorating for Christmas. We usually decorate after, um, yeah, Thanksgiving. But I do have a couple. This one has kind of Christmas lights. Really? Are you sure they're not the leftover Halloween lights? No, they're like blue and red, yellow, like. Yeah. No. <laughs> Bia's looking great today. <laughs> <laughs> Look, good. especially this is what we did last year when we donated to the families. This is Target always has like great things. So like if you're gonna buy, if you scan um, that <laughs> offer or you text, I don't see. Oh, it's in the app. You get who? When is this through the tenth? If you spend a hundred dollars, you get a free Target gift card. If you spend fifty, you get ten 
$5. That's a really great deal. I should buy school clothes for next year. Yeah, but it's all like warm up stuff. True. But like if you need jackets or if you do need warm stuff, it's a really good deal. Freaking went into Target to check out one thing. $300 later. <laughs> no, really, I got some boots. I got three and this pairs. Is mine. <laughs> I got three pairs of boots. I'll show you guys when I get home. Black, brown, and gray. Yeah. Don't judge. Oh, I thought you were giving me a judgy look. And, and then I got sandals for six dollars. Four pairs of sandals, just like the ones I have on. I got a rose gold, a brown, you got another rose gold? white. Yeah, just to like replace the ones that I have. Rose gold, brown, white, and floral. Sorry, she's trying to pull in. And I got a shirt for Anderson for Christmas. Winning, and I paid. And you got a hundred dollars in gift cards. Tw 50. <laughs> 50 <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I'll show you the breakdown when I get home, but I thought it was a pretty good deal. Went and did, nope, wrong sticker. My civic duty went and voted and we were in line for nearly an hour. So I had picked up Emmy before cause I knew she would be able to stand with me. So I picked her up and we waited, voted. Mom picked up the little girls, brought them home. Now we're eating dinner. They're doing fish sticks, carrots and some yogurt. Nice, I know. <laughs> I'm having leftovers. It's right there in front of you. And then they're going to just chill out and relax a little bit and we're gonna finish up the night. It was a nice, relaxing day. I did something pivotal in my life today. A huge step. I applied for graduate school. <gasps> I know, crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm gonna eat dinner. We'll talk more later. So I caved and decided to try one of these, you know, kind of like a blue apron and um, hello fresh this one is called home chef I had a coupon code it looks interesting so I was like let me check it out I have never used one of these companies before ever it's dinners so this has been sitting in the front of the house for a little while because I forgot it was being delivered. I ordered it this past week. It gave you the option of you, for the credit that I had. You could either get two meals for four people or four meals for two people. So clearly I have more than four people in my family, but I think the four meals would be sufficient. So I picked these two, the chili lime Salmon. I was gonna say chile, but it's ch chili. Maybe ch chili lime salmon with roasted coyote squash and mojo de ajo. I'm hopefully pronouncing that right. It gives you the nutrition, what you should have in your box, the prep time, cook within how many days, difficulty level, and the spice level. And then on the other side, it gives you all of the instructions with pictures which is pretty cool and it also has um, holes so you can put them in a binder so I got that one and then I also got um, the adobo chicken tostadas same thing their nutrition oh this was with refried red lentils hmm. interesting in the box how it says the difficulty levels intermediate wow Wow, but it still has step-by-step -step instructions. What you'll need and how each thing is done. And then in here, let's see, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. I'm clearly not going to cook anything today, but I just wanna show you guys how it comes because I'm, I've watched so many of these and I've never bit the bullet and done it myself. But I'm always so curious because, you know, especially like on days I'm working, it would be nice to have just a meal and just to be like, oh baby, everything's in here. So let's see, everything's still cold. Oh, and then chicken and stuff is under here. These big old bags of water, I mean not water, ice. So we have the salmon fillets and the chicken in there. I'd have to look back on my camera so I don't know when they actually drop this off, but everything is still super cold. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four things of salmon, 
four chicken breasts. And then the bags come like this. So this one is for the adobo chicken tostadas. Little individual packets of everything. The chicken tostadas. Wait, why is there two of the exact same thing? Okay, that's really weird. Let me read this. Okay, so it is totally doubled. Like, the this recipe is for one or two. This recipe is for two, so they give you double. So you are supposed, if you're going to cook for four people, you are supposed to use both bags. But let's say you're just going to cook for two people that you can use the same recipe, but only use like two of the salmon filet in one of the bag, one of the bags. So that's pretty cool. But it's super simple, very easily labeled, other than chopping, everything else is just leveled out. So I don't know, I'm curious. I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes, well, how everything tastes. I feel like I picked kind of <laughs> recipes I'm not sure that the kids will love. So we'll have to play it by ear, but I'm super interested in trying this. I also have a link if you're interested. I will show you as the week goes on, but if you're interested, it gives you $30 off your first order, which is very reasonable. So that gets you pretty much one whole meal for free. So I will leave that in the link down below. I'm gonna put this stuff up. You ready to say good night, see you tomorrow? Boo! Say night night. Where's your tongue? Where's your nose? Eyes. Eyes. No, that's mommy's. Where's Adam's eyes? <laughs> Your eyes. <laughs> Are you confused? Where's your ears? No. No, that's mommy's ears. Where's Adam's ears? Where's your eyes? There they are. Where's your mouth? Tongue. Where's your mouth? Mommy. There it is. No. Where's your head? No, I'm completely shorter. I'm at 51 inches now. It's really short. No, it's probably just for me doing it. Hey, What color is mommy's shirt? Black. Yeah, it's part black. Good job. Desk. What color is mommy's desk? Boat. What color? White. White. Good job. What color is that? Uh, red. What color? Boo. What are you just guessing? Boo. It's not boo. What color is that? Green. What? Right. No. <laughs> it's pink. Peach. <laughs> I love you. White. Why? What's white? White. What's white? White. That is beige. Autumn, Autumn what color is this? What color is the shirt? Black. Gray. Gray. Autumn, what color is this? What color is this? White. And what color is this? Red. Peach. 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 What color is this, Adam? Black. No. She knows Autumn the color. Red. She just doesn't know which one's the color. Red. Red. Um, what color is that, Mama? Blue. Blue. And what color is this? She doesn't know that. Clear. She doesn't know what clear is. She got white, black. Clear. All right. You say good night to you tomorrow? Boo. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop! Boop! Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. And on one more time. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Boop! On one more time. Boo! <laughs> Say good night, see you tomorrow. Boo! <laughs> Ready to go night night? No. Let's go. Too bad. Hi, 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 hi. Mama, see one. No, she doesn't want any of her animals. Good night, Mama. Good night. Good night, Adam. Good night, Adam. I love you. Good night. You say I love you? Good night, Adam. Say I love you. Say I love you. Okay, see you in the morning, okay? Good night, Adam. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, mamas.
my eyes feel heavy I am so tired but I think it's just my body I think I'm just tired in general I'm not you know lady issues and stuff and I feel like I'm broken out my face is extra greasy and I can't control my eating and I just suck at life right now oh my gosh I'm trying so hard not to beat myself up because you know I follow a lot of people on Instagram and one girl in particular let me know if you guys follow her um, her handle is get get fit with Jessica I admire some of those women so much for I try and follow mostly women I actually I think I follow all women but I follow women that started off similar in size to what I was go potty every day in fact I just got done editing the vlog and it was like every day she has to go potty right after bed even if she goes potty right before and it's like I hate to tell her just go to bed but that's what I really want to tell her because I know she just went potty some days she forgets but anyway she definitely tries to drag out her bedtime but like I was saying I try and follow women that were similar in size to me some of them were bigger or a tiny bit smaller but most of them were similar in size to what I started off with because I I don't know I like to see other people that are in my situation or were in my situation and they've done it you know things like that even if we're different ages different stages of our life because clearly I have other people to worry about a lot of I think actually I think everyone I follow does not have children maybe one person has some children but that's beside the point I follow her and my heart just breaks for her and you know it's like I try and not beat myself up when I have a really hard day or like when something's going wrong in my life and I always tell you guys like when I'm feeling down or I'm like oh woe is me I know things could always be worse and she's one of the people that recently have come to mind so much because if you don't follow her story definitely go check her out like I said it's get fit with Jessica on Instagram but I want to say she was like I don't know maybe 300 and something 320 330 pounds something like that I don't know for sure I'd have to go back and look but she's down to like I feel like 140s 150s 160s somewhere around there you know what instead of me just guessing let me go look her up real quick because honestly I don't know her exact stats she started at 320 and she's at 145. She just, okay, night night, Maddie, love you. See you in the morning. She had a tummy tuck a couple of months ago and I don't know how tall she is, that's the only thing. Oh, it says, hello, she's 22 years old, 5'4". So her and I are very similar. I'm a tiny bit taller than her, I'm 5'5", and I started at 309. So she's a little bit heavier, but significant. I mean, she's lost so much weight. I've only lost about 50 pounds, so I can't even say anything, but she did it with diet and exercise. She just got a tummy tuck a couple of months ago, and now she found out that she has stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. Like, I just, she found out right around, or right before we went to the Dominican Republic, and honestly, I thought about her so much, and I don't even know her. It's just a person that I follow on Instagram, but it's like, she worked so hard for the last few years to get herself healthy, healthy, like to lose the weight the right way and to get herself healthy, her body healthy, so that she can live the rest of her life and do all these things. And now it's like she got healthy and now she's so sick. And I just, ugh, life sucks, it's not fair. Things happen to people, to good people that don't deserve it all the time. And there's just been so many things recently that have been awful, 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 awful. I, I just don't understand. Like, there's so many awful things going on in the, not even just in the world, but in like people's day to day lives. And it's just so much. And so I try really hard. I mean, you guys are one of my only outlets. Nothing's, I don't even know why I'm going through this. I had a great day, no issues, but I'm just thinking out loud, you know? It's like I beat myself up for not having good eating days or not making it to the gym or not putting more of an effort in and I just keep telling myself like 
oh, 250 is my goal by the end of the year. 250 is my goal, 250 is my goal. And then I kind of got to the point where I'm like, I'm happy with my progress. And if I could just maintain my weight through the holidays, like that's a goal right now. And unfortunately, it's my reality because I'm struggling so bad. I keep telling myself like no cheat meals, no this, no that. And I'm struggling so bad internally. Like I've always battled with food so hard and this has been no exception. So honestly for me, like a huge goal will be to just maintain my weight and not gain any of it back to get through the holidays and like suck it up, stop doing all these things. Food does not control me and I'm really, really struggling. But again, whenever I think about those things like, oh, I wanna beat myself up or whatever, I think about the fact that I don't have anything else going on right now. It could be worse. Like I have three healthy, beautiful children who are doing fantastic. And I have a wonderful, loving husband who's also doing fabulous. And I'm holding on, <laughs> you know, like I, I just keep pushing forward. And I just have to keep telling myself that when I go on Instagram and I see people struggling with so many other things and I'm just like, my problems are not that big. They're not that big. Like, and I follow a bunch of people where I go and I listen to them rant because sometimes you just need that. Even if your problems aren't that big, you need somebody to rant to, even if it's the internet. And I listen and I just keep thinking to myself, it'll be okay. All of it'll be okay. It'll work itself out. There are people in the world that you know like my heart just completely goes i just keep thinking back to her over and over and over again like she can't catch a break she abused her body for years yes but abusing your body like that doesn't necessarily bring on cancer especially something like lymphoma but you know it'd be different i guess if you got lung cancer and you were a smoker or bladder cancer and you were a smoker like something like that not that you deserve it but a lot of times there is a cause for it, but with something like that, there's not always a cause. Being overweight can, I guess, be a factor, but it's just so sad to me that she works so hard to get herself healthy. She just got a tummy tuck, and now she's gonna have to go through chemo and go through all these things, and when I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, like wanting to punch myself in the face for having a bad eating day or like not going to the gym, laying on the couch all day, just being lazy, not getting work done, I'm just like, stop feeling sorry for yourself. You know, get it together. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Pick yourself up. You got this. So anyway, that was my inspiration for the day. Hopefully it helps somebody because honestly, sometimes I need a good kick in the butt and a reality check. And unfortunately for me, I have a lot of love and support, but not a whole lot of reality checks in my life. You know, like Andres is a wonderful, wonderful husband, but he's so overly supportive that he doesn't, he's even supportive to a fault. If I'm having a bad day, he'll just be like, it's okay, start over tomorrow. And I want that because I'm not necessarily saying I want him to be like smacking the burrito out of my hand, like don't eat that, you know, you don't need to eat that. That would be awful too. <laughs> I can't even imagine how my reaction would come to that. It would probably make me really self-conscious. So, I mean, he is super supportive and he'll tell me just jump right back on, you got this or whatever. But I don't have anybody in my day-to-day -day life that will be like, Melissa, stop, stop. Like, why are you doing this? You've worked too hard. Stop. So I have to be that person for myself. I have to be the person that's like telling myself, cut the crap, literally and figuratively and all in all the way around, like cut the crap. So anyway, I just need to talk out loud sometimes. You guys like my earrings? Paparazzi, they're super cute, right? I really liked them today. I like this size hoop. I have bigger ones like for going out and stuff, but I really like this size for every day. Super cute. So anyway, I'm going to bed. Everyone's in bed. Andres doesn't get off until late. It's a little after seven and I'm trying to already fall asleep. No, I'll probably sit here and watch Wentworth and try and calm down. When I was waiting in the pools, I picked off all my nail polish. Look at how long my nails are though. It's crazy. I cut them when I put my Halloween nails on and they're already long and now I'm gonna wait for my Thanksgiving nails to come in I think 
I read, I think on my thing, I thought they were gonna come in yesterday or today, but they come in tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow night when I get them, I can go live. It won't matter because I'm still behind like three days on vlogs. So if you saw a live, <laughs> leave me a little nail emoji in the comment below. I wanna unbox them with you guys and maybe apply um, my turkey ones. I think that'll be super cute, even though we have like, how many days? Mm, like two weeks, a little over two weeks until Thanksgiving. I wanna apply some turkey nails because after Thanksgiving, it's on like Donkey Kong with the Christmas nails. So I'm going to bed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully my little, you know, pep talk, kick in the butt realization helps somebody else out there too. I don't know. Maybe we can band together and help each other out because I am on the struggle bus lately. Ugh, it's awful, but I'll get there. I promise, I promise, promise, promise myself and you guys, I will get there. So hope you enjoyed today and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for work. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. It is 6.21, I'm headed to work. It was a rough morning getting up this morning. I went to bed, I, I probably like the time change is really affecting me sleep wise. I've been getting sleepy at like eight, nine o'clock which was nine ten o'clock which is about normal typically if I'm not working I like to be in bed watching shows by like 10 10 30 if I work the next day then I like to be in bed by 8 30 9 usually like 8 30 to 9 is when I like to be in bed that way I can watch shows until around 10 I like to be asleep by 10 um, if I work the next day if I don't work the next day then I like to be asleep by before midnight is what usually works the best because then I feel like I got enough sleep the next morning. I mean, it really just depends on what's happening the next day as to what I do the night before, but I have a routine. Ooh, traffic looks bad. Oh, there's a stalled vehicle. Eek. I hope they get that taken care of before like rush hour because that'll stink. Anyway, I have a routine and it just, like I said, depends on the day as to what I'm actually doing and what my routine is. Well, last night I was in bed, on the dress work late, so I was in bed by like, I vlogged it, I think like 8.05 or something like that. So I watched one and a half Wentworths, which OMG, so freaking good. This season is amazing. I finished Orange is the New Black several weeks ago I feel like and it was really good too the first part of it was like eh, it was okay it was like the beginning parts of the riot it started off a little bit slow but then this season ended pretty good uh, Wentworth was like amazing from episode one and I think on episode nine so good so good so I'm trying to catch up with that and catch up with all my shows and everything there are so many new shows on Netflix I want to watch too so I watched an episode and a half of that and honestly probably by like nine I was already starting to doze off so I should have at that point just put my phone away and gone to sleep but the problem is is if I had I would have been up in the middle of the night I know I would have because it always happens like that I would have been I would have woken up at like one or two o'clock and felt rested and not been rested and then have a hard time falling asleep because it happens all the time when I get up too early I wake up in the middle of the night like as if I had I mean if, if I go to yeah go to bed I think I said wake up if I go to bed too early I don't my body is like all off whereas I ended up falling asleep probably at like 9 50 I slept the entire night until my alarm went off at 5 5 but I woke up and I laid there. I almost snoozed my alarm, but I ended up laying there. And I didn't actually get up out of bed until like 5.20. And that took everything in me. Like I did not want to get up out of bed. <laughs> it was so bad. I was so tired. I was just like, no. I fact, In fact, I think I even told on the desk, I was like, I just feel like I can't catch up on my sleep. And so tomorrow, I'll have to be up, not as early, but pretty early for Tomorrow's a super busy day. I have, uh, I mean, I take the girls in the, to school in the morning like normal. And then Bella, straight from taking them to school, Bella has her follow-up appointment, which she's doing amazing. 
She's walking around more and more every day, but we're still keeping her on some good bed rest, um, which is why we still have the cage, like the kennel cage, to make sure she doesn't get around because every once in a while, even when she's like walking to her food or walking to her bed, she'll her leg will slip out from under her. So we're still trying to get her, you know, really good and healed. And then she's still wearing the cone because she can reach her incision. And the only thing that's stopping her from licking it and scratching at it is the cone because we've tried to take it off of her several times because I feel bad, she looks so uncomfortable, but that's literally the only thing keeping her from the incision. So until, if the doctor, if the vet says tomorrow she can take it off, we'll take it off. But until then, it's staying on because I do not want to risk her getting any type of, of infection in that area. She's already been through so much and she's done very well and I don't want to risk it. So we're leaving the cone on even though poor thing, she looks so pathetic in those cones. I mean, the cone is just so sad looking, but it's for her her own good. So we're, I'm suffering through it just like she is. But um, yeah, her follow-up appointment's right after. And then I have to come home, just figure out, you know, something to lay out for dinner, try and pick up the house and all that good stuff. And then I have a work meeting from 12 to 4. And then immediate, I'm hoping it gets out a little bit early because immediate, immediately after, um, I think it is on the day off tomorrow. Or is he off Friday? I have to look at his schedule, but he, um, Autumn has a follow-up for speech therapy, which is cool because the last time we had to do just speech therapy in general, she qualified for it. So her speech therapist has been going to the school and working with her for the last two months or however long. Yeah, like a month and a half. And so she's she's doing so good. She says so many words and now she's actually starting to repeat things. You know, like you tell her something and she parrots it back. Um, she was not doing that before for a long time. Like you would tell her something and she would just kind of look at you and she said some words, but she wasn't saying a whole lot. But ever since she started school, she's done amazing, which is exactly why we put her in school. So I knew she would, but she's done so good. So I'm very proud of her. And she's even like learning to count, like she can almost count to 10, it's so cute. Um, and then also her colors and she knows her shapes and we're working on her colors and just things like that. So she's, she's done so much better being in school and with the speech therapist too. So anyway, she has her reevaluation on Thursday and I'm sure at that point she will no longer qualify for it because the last meeting that I had with her, she said that she was pretty much like where she should be at this point. Maybe, you know, some two year olds are, depending on where they are in, in their two, the age, you know, two and however many months, they may be a little bit more advanced, but she's more where she should be. So I doubt she'll still qualify for it. So that's kind of exciting. And then, yeah, we have to do dinner and then I work again on Friday. And then I have four days off. So tomorrow's going to be, like today, tomorrow, and Friday kind of stink. But once those are over, we have a super fun weekend. My mom's birthday is on Saturday. We're gonna go out for that. On Sunday, I have a baby shower to go to. We're doing Emmy's special day at night because she wanted to do dinner and a movie. So we are doing, um, I think we're gonna go do Dave and Busters because I wanted to take her to, she loves video games if you don't know that much about Emmy. She loves video games. And so we were thinking about taking her to like a bigger video game place, not like Peter Piper's and things like that. Uh, I mean, she loves those. Don't get me wrong. She loves that and Chuck E. Cheese. But I was thinking about taking her to like a diversions game room. And then my mom was like, well, if you're going to do dinner, why don't you just go to somewhere like Dave and Buster's? I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. So I asked Emmy again yesterday what she wanted to do for her special day and she said dinner and a movie and I was like okay so I think we're gonna surprise her and take her to Dave and Buster's and have which if you don't have a Dave and Buster's you don't know what that is it's literally like an adult Chuck E. Cheese or <laughs> an adult like Peter Piper pizza it has um, a place 
in there where you can eat and drink of course they have a bar they have pool tables and a whole bunch of video games so I think we may do that have dinner there play some video games and then go catch a movie and that we're doing Sunday night so that'll be so much fun I'm so excited and they're not out of school for Veterans Day so yeah it'll probably be a late night for her but that'll be okay I mean it's just the way that it ended up working out because we don't have they have Girl Scouts on Saturday and then my mom's birthday dinner so it's just it's just the way that it worked out we'll see how next year works out as far as like the her special weekend or whatever but anyway I'm almost to work now that I've chit chatted for 10 minutes for lunch today I brought some turkey sausage cut up with zucchini super good poured some light Italian dressing from Olive Garden all, all over it I have um, some pea peanut butter protein balls some grapes I also have a cheese stick and a quest bar and a pack of 100 calorie mini pretzels one day at a time I know yesterday I was like going off about not eating right and all these things and I'm just so disappointed in myself one day at a time that's all I have to keep telling myself one day at a time I also have some coffee and a thing of water so I am set to go I'm almost to work though so I'll let you guys go thanks for listening to me chit chat in the morning <laughs> session in the car it's like listening to morning radio except you're with your favorite youtuber Melissa <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go I'll see you guys when I get off good night see you tomorrow autumn mm -hmm. good night see you tomorrow and wait for me. She's going potty. Mm -hmm. Good night. See you tomorrow. No, Peppy. <laughs> Not like a puppy. A, a Peppy. A Peppy? <laughs> no, Peppy. Like, oh my gosh. Try again. <laughs> Not like a puppy. Say good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I put them. See? How this side's higher up on my brow than this side so I fix them kind of like by putting it a little bit higher on my ear not directly on my anyway I don't know. whatever I was messing with them all day that was really bothering me so I think I probably won't have time to go tomorrow I'll just have to deal with it I guess I have such a busy few days I'm tired. It's not, almost 9 p.m. I'm going to lay down. Today was a busy day at work. I was in triage. And if you've been a longtime follower, follower of mine, then you know I don't like triage. I really, since I've switched to day shift, I think I've only been in triage maybe once or twice. And when I was on night shift, I was, on tri I was in triage like literally every night but that I haven't been on night shifts since almost two years oh my gosh that's insane almost two years I was on night shift like this time two years ago no I was on maternity leave this time two years ago so I ha okay I haven't been on no oh my gosh so it's been two years since I've been on night shift anyway I this is one of the big reasons why I left night shift was because I felt like I was one of the most senior nurses and there was just at the time like a bigger turnover and a lot of new nurses and I just didn't feel safe and you know I mean at the time I had been there three years but I still felt like uh, I had more experience than everybody but it still wasn't enough experience in some situations you know so I left and then when I came back from maternity leave I was like I have to go to day shift I have too many children to stay on night shift so she moved me to day shift and on day shift we have certain nurses that absolutely love being in triage and I'm not one of those nurses I mean I'm today was fine like I held my own but I just feel like it's a totally different time management and care management and your priorities have to be in the right place and the, everything is different on the floor when you have patients in labor 
or like regular patients it's just totally different than in triage it's so quick turnover i mean i must have had a dozen or more patients today and i admitted almost all of them so it was just like a super busy busy day but my day went by really fast so you know it's a give and take some days some of the time today i just wanted to sit down and breathe when I have a patient assignment, even if I have two or three patients I have an assignment, sometimes I get a chance to sit down and breathe and chart, and it's just different in triage. So it wasn't ideal, but I, I managed. I handled my own, you know. So anyway, I came home, and I had some quick leftover mini tacos. We had shredded chicken leftover, and then I had three of the mini corn tortilla tacos. So I had that, and I edited it. Actually, I got the girls in bed and then I talked with Andres for like 30 minutes. We were talking about work and stuff and then he went downstairs, I edited, and now I'm ready for bed. He works super early in the morning and which means I'm doing all of everything by myself, which is fine. It just means I have to wake up early. So I'm going to head to bed. I know today wasn't super exciting. I'm going to tack it on to tomorrow's vlog anyway. Hopefully I can catch up. But yeah, I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning.